I literally just brought this up. Oh, let's take this out. Still recording up. Let's go as high as I can. Not sure if I can. I'll be able to record anything for controllable. Like once you fly one for. All right. I'll just hit it and look at that. This is gonna be where we'll see. How's it going, YouTube? It's me, the Coolizer, and here I have an X8 quadcopter that I'm gonna be reviewing. This is my second, and I got the LG rear facing camera recording this session today. And also, right here is my Sony Nexus camera to the right. Unopened here, so we're going to unbox this. And this is a six axis headless mode with one key return. And ooh, looky here. And this thing is light, wow. Whoa, look at this remote, it's humongous. Really, really light as well. And then we have another box in here. And the instruction manual. Lots of parts, extra, because I already see that it's on here. So we have four single extra blades for the quadcopter. And these will be the guards, which I know that I will want those. Look at this, you could actually detach and attach the camera to it. Battery looks pretty fat. We get the charger. We get some extra screws. Here we have the tool. We also get the micro USB. Check it out. Four gigabyte micro SD that we will insert here. I gotta remember to put it in, not forget it. So this will go to your computer. You know, get these little parts out. I know it's about the drone, but I wanna see this controller. Look at this thing. I think the most janky one here is this button there, but every other button presses in pretty good. It's not like super high end and this stuff is actually fake. This is gonna be where we'll see all of its stats and LED here and the antenna. And now let's take a look at the drone itself. I got the white version and here it is. This thing is light. This battery feels like half the weight of this whole entire thing here. So I'm just gonna stick this in here and this will go in there just like that. Go in there, pull up, push down. It feels like it's firm. Now we have this wire sticking out here and that will go into this little pocket right in there. And just like that, it's plugged in. We have a little film cover that will take off of the lens. Now there's an on off power switch right here. I'll just hit it and look at that. It's glowing, blinking, and even the camera blinks with a different color inside of there of what direction you're gonna be flying. So if green might be going forward or backwards, you can you know direct yourself to know which way to maneuver. So we'll just turn that off. Glad it has some battery power. This is the landing gear here. Just going to shove it into these little pinholes. There we go. Snapped right into place. So now the camera's protected and the bottom's not gonna be having to hit it where it'll just land like that. Here's my first drone review and then this is gonna be my second, this video, which you can see the different sizes. I'm excited to see how long this will fly and how much better maybe compared to this one. So the next thing, I have to take out batteries out of my controllers and get this remote to work. Sounds like it works to me, right? Woo! I'm excited to fly this right here. And now let's do another power on, see anything on the LCD. So now the next thing here is to turn it on. High and low. So there's only two settings. The camera button is right here. That's a weird spot. Okay, power on. Power on. Now my quadcopter is, you know, flashed. Now the SD card will go right back here, hopefully upright. Here we go. It should be ready to fly. Let's see if I can do this. Ooh. So this should be self-balancing. This is much quieter. To the right a lot more. But this is, look how smooth I, can, I literally just brought this up. But that's what those guards will do, these ones. Propeller safe until all this stuff is really, really light. And now it's going a lot to the right. There you go. 
Oh. Oh. This is on. Oh. Let's take this out. Here we go. Pretty good hover. That's on low mode. Let's go into... There we go, that's high mode. Oh, that's so much faster. Now let's take this to some height. Oh, this thing is sweet. <laughs> so it's flashing kind of weird now. I guess the battery is dead. <laughs> now the only problem is you got to make sure you don't run out of battery. You're not going to be able to stop the camera from recording and then when you stop the drone power off it just loses the file. I hate that it does that but that's how it is. And I'm going to fly this at night. And I'm using the whimmiest camera that's on my forehead. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Lift it off pretty straight. You can adjust it of course. Uh, the red is what's forward. Flying pretty good. Let's see if the camera is still recording. Yep. Okay, let's go all the way up as fast as I can. Hopefully, I don't lose it. Oh, it's high. Yep, I still got control. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Still good. Whoa! Now this should fly a lot faster. Good height. Oh yeah. Look at that direction. Look at that. I wish it was more in a day, but this is just the time that I have right now. <laughs> that is cool. This thing is super controllable. Like once you fly one for for a little, you got it down. All right. Okay, so Sony Vegas does not want to work with this AVI file. I don't know why AVI should work, but it does not work. Um, I could watch the video though. Let's find it around there. That's the quality that you're gonna get. It's not great. I wouldn't be using this for any videos of mine other than, you know, just trying to get some shots and uh, seeing what the, uh, you know, drone sees. This is the night one where you can see the actual whole entire city lights of where I'm at. So I got it pretty high up there. Look at that. You can see Christmas lights below here. You can see me flying in my office slash room. You can't really hear because of the propeller is being really loud. It's not that loud honestly though, but the camera obviously the microphone's gonna pick that up. So the battery actually lasted me around 14 minutes with the camera on, without having the camera recording. I'm probably gonna be able to get like 18 minutes I would say, which is longer than my last drone. But there you guys have it. Thank you for watching. This is my second drone, hopefully um, the states doesn't ban these or make you having to register them for sure. I mean, there might be a registry in some states right now. Not everyone can play with these, but you know, it's here if you can. If you want to risk it, do it to it. These are super fun. It's all plastic. This thing is really light. It's nothing one of those crazy expensive ones that you would, you know, freak out and want to, you know, worry about breaking. And this thing's pretty durable. It's falling pretty hard and it's still you know, keeping up. It's what amazing about these things is that they can take a lot of damage, especially for the price of this. Anyways, that is it for me. Hope you guys like it. Until next time, I will see you guys later.